our power. Let's get to the books right quick. The unconscious. The unconscious is a part of, a, of the psyche that is normally beyond the reach of consciousness. The basic notion of an unconsciousness, as well as the idea that our behavior is influenced by unconsciousness, motivates is a very old, is very old. However, it was Sigmund who first put forward the general theory of the unconscious and its interaction with the conscious mind. The concept of, of the relationship between the conscious and unconscious has been compared to that of an iceberg, meaning only that the relative tiny part of the conscious is usually visible, while 90% of the uh, unconscious is below the surface. Okay, um, human nature is that we are fundamentally selfish like animals, driven by the aggressive urges and desires of pleasure. People learn, however, 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 to repress their crude impulses to the unconscious region of the mind. As they grow up at the core of the conflict that leads to mental illness, it is often dental of urges, denial of urges, that people regard as unacceptable, unacceptable and do not wish to admit are a part of themselves. Mental illness occurs when such urges become too strong to deal with through the normal copying process. So, you got two groups. And I like that uh, comparison that he gave about the iceberg. See, the conscious, <clears throat> the conscious is 90, the unconscious is the 90%. Meaning, the people that know is only, I, he'd say 10, 1%. Because they, the 5% will say 5%. You see what I'm saying? And being, you know, the top of the iceberg is the conscious, and the which is the smaller part, and then the 90% of the rest of the iceberg that is under the water is the unconscious. You see what I'm saying? And see, uh, the unconscious, once they become, because you talk about cognitive dissonance. Well, you know, when you get uh, some new information that just blow your mind, and almost your mind wish it never heard what I said before I said it. That's what cognitive dissonance is. You see what I'm saying? And at the same time, you know, you got two different groups out here working. So they mind can't even conceive the concept of something new. You understand what I'm saying? The unconscious. You see what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of them, like I like I said, aggressive behavior. Aggressive. A lot of the unconscious people have a lot of aggressive behavior because they don't have no information. And to them, and just like the book said, they revert back to their savage animal ways. You see what I'm saying? And what people walking around here with t-shirt on. Savage. That's unconsciousness, mate. You see what I'm saying? Meaning you no different than a wild animal. You see what I'm saying? Which is mental illness, mate. You see what I'm saying? So people is scared of new information. You see what I'm saying? Like they say, have an open mind. People do not have no open mind today. Their mind is closed dormant. It's like a dark room. It's like a movie theater with no movie playing and no people in the theater. That's what their mind is, dark. You see, that's why I say, come to the light. Come to the light. So you can open up your mind to new information. You see what I'm saying? But the unconscious is so sleep and so gone. That's why people say, wake up. You see what I'm saying? Because the, the unconscious is so gone that they in a coma. You see what I'm saying? That they in the coma, they underwater, like the 90% of the rest of the iceberg. See, when you see that iceberg out there, you're like, ooh, that joint B. But really, that's only maybe 5 or 10% of the whole iceberg. You see what I'm saying? So those 
That's why the unconscious is the 90%. And they under the water. Can't breathe. Struggling for air. That's just real. Because when 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 uh uh certain information, that's how I know how powerful the information I be speaking on, the certain information, as soon as it hit the brain, it almost scrambled the brain cells because your brain and I done been hit with cognitive dissonance before. And it just so it just stretched your mind out so long that you know a lot of the a lot of times it, it, it'll keep you in, in a capacity where you just like you float. It's like you out on the island and, and on the boat and ain't got no paddles or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? And that's just how it is sometimes. You see? And then you be out here, you know, think, thinking people conscious and you out here talking to the people or whatnot about something and they think you crazy because they haven't been privileged to that level of information, man. That just facts. That just facts. So, when you're dealing with the unconscious, the conscious and the unconscious cannot survive in the same room. Because what I know you haven't been privileged to, and when I start to speak, you're going to immediately fight against it because you do not have that level of information. That's just real. And being at the level that they at, that savage level or whatnot, is mental illness, man. And once they come across some real information, it's going to blow their mind to the point, you know, it's going to might drive them crazy because they be, be believing this certain way for so long that they just can't see it no other way. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to deal with that, the unconscious right quick because they walking around zombies, man, and they'll do anything. They'll take any information, as long as it's fit into the construct or, or the way they think, and, and then they'll accept it. But if it's anything outside of the way that they think, and if they think it's going to cause some kind of cognitive dissonance in their mind, they don't even want to hear it. So that's why the conscious societies are secret societies, facts, and they need to stay that way, to be real with you, because... Most of these people out here can't handle that level of information. That just facts, family. I'm coming right back. Y'all like, subscribe, and share. Drop out.